health inequalities have been increasing in Europe. These inequalities create significant policy challenges for health systems with different levels of preparedness. The EuroHealthy project aims to evaluate the health and well-being of the European population. Well, I think EuroHealthy is a project which begins with a problem, and that problem is that not everyone in Europe has the same opportunities for health and for human flourishing. Um, and as a problem, that's a problem which is very complex, very complicated, because the things which uh, generate health are um, multifactorial. And health itself is a, is a multi-dimensional concept. There are lots of different aspects to, to health. Um, so that's really the rationale for the EuroHealthy project. And what the project is intended to do is to help policymakers at different levels in Europe. So at the national level, at the regional level, at the municipal level, um, to help these policymakers make decisions which can uh, help tackle the problem of health inequalities. So uh, EuroHealthy isn't just a call to action. Uh, it's also um, providing a very practical toolkit which will synthesize evidence for policymakers, which will give them data to understand how their own localities are performing and uh, will help them take action um, in order to address this uh, serious social problem. The project is developing tools based on a population health index. It is being constructed using a multi-criteria value model and interdisciplinary participatory processes. The multi-criteria model captures how different factors contribute to European population health and well-being. The first thing is to reflect a little bit about the added value of using a participatory approach. The innovation here in the project is that we use two different types of participatory approach and you use technology called multi-criteria decision analysis, where you, you see what are the relevant aspects to appraise population health, how relevant they are, so this is translated in the model in weights, and how performance should be considered in terms of value for health. So it means how to transfer performance in value, and this is called the value function model. So this seems to be very complicated, but at the end of the day is a proper way of scoring and weighting. And with this, we can uh, help people to design uh, policies to improve population health and reduce health inequalities among European regions, based on the use of the model that we call the Population Health Index. This project is designed to advance knowledge regarding the measurement of population health. The involvement of various stakeholders and experts may increase awareness of current problems, uncertainties and challenges facing health equity across Europe.